Hi, I'm Krep. It's a new recording session, so I'm obligated to say hi, I'm Krep uh, at the start of it. Uh, we're back to playing more Perfect Tides. When we laughed, when we last, when we laughed less off, uh, <laughs> we made it to summer, the second of, of four seasons. You may know them. Uh, we're over here, new outfit, summer attire, in Simon's place, and. You know, uh, something I didn't mention at the end of the last session is that I'm a little worried by the fact that we're starting here at Simon's, because uh, I I'm very anxious about what our home life looks like right now with uh, with Timothy's outburst at us at the end of spring. I suppose we'll find out. In the meantime, it's... it's let's see... Uh, if there's any new dial uh, dialogue or flavor text or anything. I don't know, maybe we didn't look at his computer before, but I don't think this is... Uh... Uh, I'll read it out anyway. This is the computer Simon uses to do all of his writing. It's old and creaky, can't hold a charge, and has an incredibly slow modem. Simon mails drafts to his editor on floppy disk. You wonder why he doesn't get with the times and replace the old clunker. But then again, your own tower is made entirely from Timothy's discarded scraps. Yeah, that's not new dialogue. That is also not new dialogue. So I think I just never looked at his computer. A white L-shaped couch sits in the center of a giant open plan living area. On most days, you could find Simon lay across it in deep despair, as we did <coughs> when we first saw him. I should drink some water. Though painstakingly modern and stylish, you don't find the couch particularly comfortable and feel guilty anytime your body is touching it. I wonder, can we go anywhere else here? Suppose not. I'm not even sure we're allowed back outside. Maybe if we use the door? Nope, he doesn't want to be bothered right now. You should probably leave him alone for at least an hour or two. Okay. Uh, in that case, we're getting out of here. We have to figure out how we're going to write a letter to our new online boyfriend. Um, whose address we don't have. Uh, if that isn't a concerning premise... For this arc, I don't know what is. <laughs> Not a dang clue what we're gonna do. Ooh, sandcastle. Well, looks like someone built a sandcastle. Pretty impressive one at that. All right, well, um, what happens if we touch it? Wow, no, no, no. I didn't want to like kick it or anything. I wanted to like feel its craftsmanship. All right, well, we're getting judged for, for minor gameplay interactions. Oh, there's people here. There's, like, people people here. Hot enough for you? Tell me about it. It's the middle of summer, and the Earth's tilt toward the sun pulls longer daylight hours, or plus longer daylight hours makes it really hot. I hear that. I'd hope so. You already responded to me once, unless that's your response for everything. You're telling me. It's the most efficient way for me to communicate with you. Join the club. Okay, I think I might leave of my own volition this time. <laughs> this guy is the kind of sly look that screams, Don't speak to me. You're dumb, but you haven't learned nothing. Hiya. Well, you spoke to him. <laughs> wow, you've got a sick setup here. Aw, thanks. Aren't you sweet? My little cousin kind of looks like you. Really? Is she attractive? I wouldn't say attractive. She's only 12, after all. At your age, puberty hasn't given you much except weird proportions and bad skin. But it'll all even out in a year or two, you'll see. I'm 15. No, you're not. Shut up. Almost 16, actually. Alright, move on. No one likes a child who lies. Oh, boy. Okay, well... Someone has set up a tent here. It's a pretty fancy one. This camper looks pleasant enough to speak to. Uh, I should have looked at him before speaking. 
One of the campers is a young blonde woman. She has a sort of low effort Mina Savari thing going on with abs so flat they even look flat sitting down. Okay. <laughs> this beachgoer looks quite comfortable, nest nestled beneath the sun and the cooling dunes. You're struck by the apparent ease with which she absorbs life's pleasures. Explains a lot of the conversation we just had with her. And it looks like none of the flavor text here is any different either. Well then, let's simply uh, leave. You know, new things going on, but not that new. Hey, you know what? We did get those seeds last time. Squash seeds are licked clean by the deer and dried by the sand and sun, but are still reasonably oily. I wonder if they would still be here right now, or if we could have missed out on them if we'd not picked them up in spring. Let us simply wander around, and by that I mean I think I actually like to gun it for the... Oh, downtown is busy, it's tourist season. Okay, let's... Ooh. New downtown music. Let's not bother right now. Not right this second. I, I want to go to the post office. I want to go to the post office because if anyone is going to have any advice on how I go about getting a letter to someone whose address I don't know, maybe it would be the lady working at the post office. Maybe, unless someone else is working there now. No, same lady. Wow. Lovely summer day. It sure is. Do you like switching places? Uh, but you're so good at your job. No, okay, well, um, couldn't possibly be anything or inventory that's useful here. Oh. Ah, uh, you remember now. You bought this notebook in January last year as part of a New Year's resolution to get more organized. Well, clearly that didn't work. The book is almost entirely empty. Wow, maybe you should get back into note-taking. This faux developing guy is absolutely pristine. A lot of good it's done in your locker. Oh, this is... That's going to be useful for a, for a puzzle, for sure. If only you had a project to justify all this knowledge. You haven't picked up a camera in ages. You close the book somberly, trying to steal yourself from the painful memories it inspires. Well, goodness. What is this? Permanent writing marker used for extremely page-melting note-taking and graffiti. I think both these things we picked up at the end of the school year from our locker. So, we still have that beer. Cool. And because we ended up going with the peas at the dinner, we still got these chips. It's a small bag of baked chips. It doesn't seem much more satisfying than the salty air around you. That's fair. Not much of use here, so... Mmm. Do I want to be here at Billy's? Well, Billy ain't here right now, so... Let's start looking at people. As is common in the summer, patrons at Billy's are spilling out for the bar into the nearby dunes. The boys are all about the beer. The lower patio draws a decent crowd in the warmer weather. It's a perfect spot to people watch with the locals and occasional tourists. I think I read that dialogue before. You recognize this couple from around the island, though you don't know them. Most locals avoid the bars during high tourism season. Others, like this pair, like to double down on their presence. Tourists are lounging around the bar, uh, the bar porch, enjoying a mixture of sand and shade. You try, with some frustration, to imagine vacationing on perfect tides. The concept eludes you. Oh, okay. That dialogue was different. I was just saying patrons are gathered around the tables. Gathered around tables on the porch of, of Billy's bar, drinking frosty pints of beer and talking enthusiastically. <coughs> the windows suggest a dark, intimate setting where adults are sophisticated. Talking too quickly. Sophistication and good breeding gather. It's a real good joke.
guess I should start trying to talk to people. I don't know if that's very Mara. I'm so impressed with everyone here. How's that? The way you all pretend to enjoy drinking beer, day in and day out, despite how gross it tastes? Very convincing. But it tastes great. I like it a lot. Oh, my mistake. Of course you do. I accidentally right clicked. Was there anything else there? Nope, that was it. That was it. Drinking a beer, huh? Okay, you're gonna have to try harder than that, Mara. You guys look like you're having fun. We are, thanks! Oh, shit. I did not expect you to respond. Almost nobody does. Sorry to scare you. It's alright. More like a, more of a thrilling type of scare than anything else. Like riding the Medusa at Six Flags. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm usually scared to ride the upside down coasters, but that one is brand new, so... Statistically, nobody's died on it yet. But that seems like the best one to ride if you're gonna take that chance. <laughs> Oops. It looks like you're talking to another silent NPC. But she just talked to me. You must be mistaken. What the hell? You can sometimes find... Uh, ah, I right-clicked again. I have to be more careful with my mouse grip. You can sometimes find cigarettes under this porch, you know. And they're only half-smoked. The men force a sympathetic half-smile before returning to their conversation. There's nothing for us here. Yes. I I'm all the way over here. I might as well check out the hotel again. Nothing. It don't look no different. Let's leave. Cool. Excellent closed loop we just did and accomplished. Basically nothing. Still too shy about knocking on Lily's door. Can't do it. Let's go home? Familiar music? Familiar everything? Let's see. What's the likelihood of us going to mom's room this time? No, not today. To our own room, then. We had our internet access revoked, or at least Timothy threatened that we were going to. Let's see if that's actually true. Oh, right, and we did mention at the start of summer. But that's why we ought to do a letter. Because we don't have internet. You can't get online. Timothy disabled your internet, remember? You stare... Ah, come on. You stare at the monitor in a moment of denial, wishing a magical power would somehow take over. When that doesn't work, you leave your desk. Fair enough. It's not actually that fair. I don't see anything else worth doing in here, or at least nothing new. So, out we go. I guess we're gonna go mingle with more tourists. Uh, there were the folks over at the dock who were checking out again. They may speak kindly to us. They did before. Oh, didn't notice these people. A small group of travelers is gathered by the wagon depot. Talk to them. Did you know there are over 30 major vegetation types or subtypes on the island? The advancement of classification and recording systems have allowed researchers to double their findings in just a few decades. The tourist seems mildly interested by this factoid, but you find that past the initial high of their attention, you're left unsatisfied. A career in listener-supported talk radio may not be in the cards for you. So, visiting the island with your friends, huh? Sorry, you just assume you're all friends. Maybe this is your family. Maybe you all hate each other's guts. Or maybe this is some kind of competitive reality show where you're all meeting for the first time, but the cameras are clearly hidden because I don't see them anywhere. 
Maybe I'll go. And go we shall. Hey, folks. Take a look at them. You see your mom's friend Dora over by the pier with another neighbor. Dora is a sweet enough lady, apart from the fact that she doesn't see you as an adult and never will. Approach in a fortified state. Mara, dear. How is your summer? Fine. Big crowd here this season. Isn't that always the way? I remember when you were six, maybe seven. Uh, upset about something that day, and... Uh, do I want to hear this story? We're picking your nose, and... I don't! Abort! Abort! Everyone was laughing. <laughs> I mean, everyone! You couldn't even see your face through the... We like to party! We like, we like to party. Great distraction tactic. Okay. Um, likely nothing there. I don't imagine I would want to give any of these things to any, to any of these people, so. Ugh. Uh, Jackson, actually? Maybe we want to go say hi to Jackson? What's he got going on in the summer? Good summer, Mara. I don't know. Kind of uneventful so far. That's too bad. I've been kind of bored too. You often wonder if you have any business asking Jackson to hang out. He's friendly to you, and is always around. Then again, he's already out of high school, and occasionally you see him with Timothy. So he's more like Timothy's friend than yours, really. Besides, if he wanted to hang out with you, he'd just ask, right? Well, it's too bad we're both bored. Yep. That checks out. Once again, doesn't really look like there's anything new here. So probably nothing that we want. I'll come back if I end up stumped on anything. But for now... <sighs> Over to downtown, I guess. Oh, well, that's the right thing to do right now is talk to Mikey, I guess. Your eyes skim Mikey's usual selection of junk, seeing nothing of... Ah, uh, what's this? Billy Blanks is t uh, Tybo Gold for men and women over 40. You briefly consider whether a workout for adults over 40 would actually work on you. According to the box, the key difference seems to be a soundtrack of music from the 50s and 60s. You're pretty sure you would be accepting of that for the right price. How much for the Tybo tape? Oh, you're a fan of blanks? It's quite a collector's item, that this tape. Can't find them in stores. I could probably find it on eBay. Look, Mara, you're a creative kid. Find me something of equal value and the tape's yours. What would be as valuable as Tybo Gold? That's up to you to find out, isn't it? Now beat it. I have customers other than you in the summer. Where? Beat it! Okay. Understood. In a rare and seasonal phenomenon, Mikey's merch blanket is surrounded by wandering eyes other than your own. His most enthusiastic- oh, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, it does say his. There's a funny thing going on there with the lowercase y right above that uppercase h. Uh, his most enthusiastic customers have never experienced his personality, but they learn fast. This guy is talking about his trip with the bucket hatted man in a manner that seems somewhat one sided. A large man in a bucket hat is hunched over at the bar. The bartender at Bobby's is already looking harrowed, not one week into the summer tourist season. A lone smoker is standing outside Barbie's bar. A man is reading the menu for Petey's, a confounded look on his face. This group presumably is waiting to be seated at Petey's. I don't know if there's much else to do here other than, uh, as usual, try talking to these people. Checking out the merchandise? I think... Mora, get the fuck out of here! Sheesh, give me a chance to make a bad impression on them on my own. Okay, probably the same dialogue for trying to talk to the other person. You just don't foresee a lot of success with the whole talking to adult men at the bar thing. <laughs> There is no point in time, not now, nor in the past, nor distant future, 
that you will ever feel talk, uh, comfortable talking to this man. Someday, when you look closer to 21, you'll try your luck. You somehow don't think you're there yet. <laughs> for a moment, you consider asking the smoker for a cigarette. But a tapestry of paranoia drawing on an exquisite or drawing an exquisite path of information back to your mother is quickly woven in your mind. Expensive, huh? The man shoots you an annoyed look as if you'd said something insulting. I'm merely stating facts. Compare this menu to the price of a meal at Applebee's, for instance. Well, yeah, but that's Applebee's. This is a fancy restaurant in a remote location. This is just a boring place by my house. Congrats, Mara, you've cracked supply and demand. Maybe you could hop in a time machine with that glistening mind and snag a Tickle Me Elmo at retail. If I had a time machine, I'm pretty sure I'd be killing baby Hitler and not getting a Tickle Me Elmo. Yeah, right. You wouldn't have the guts. No. Maybe not. But I'd at least adopt baby Hitler and raise him in my image, replacing his bloody ambition with a hopeless, depressive laziness. So are you still talking to that man, or...? Gee, I hope not. <laughs> Jeez. <coughs> this place isn't worth it. Try Applebee's. The tourists look at you like you're a sandfly that's about to get a blast of DEET to the face. What is DEET? Mm -mm. Concerning. There's so many people to look at and talk to. Not talk with, but talk to. I suppose talk at is also appropriate. Tourists from the mainland are gathered and conversing in what would generously be called a square downtown. Some tourists are sitting on what is no doubt a warm, toasty boardwalk. A group of men it only seems appropriate to call the Ice Cream Boys is gathered at Island Scoops. That rules. I'm, I'm here for you, Ice Cream Boys. Let's talk to the Ice Cream Boys. You know, I've never actually gotten brain freeze. I can eat ice cream as fast as I want. I've never been sick from eating too much candy, either. I can just eat candy forever. The Ice Cream Boys look soberly in your direction, the lighthearted cheer draining from their eyes. <laughs> they collectively mourn something that has been lost. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm so dumb and ugly for saying that. I can never do anything right. <laughs> the Ice Cream Boys perk up again, their spirits replenished! <laughs> okay. Would it surprise you to know this ice cream establishment has been, been in business since the mid-century? No? Not at all? Well, somebody's done their homework. <laughs> Welcome to town. The tourists smirk as if their red carpet has long since been rolled out. And they'd be right, the local uh, economy dearly depends on, depends on their patronage. I am stumbling over my words a lot right now. That's okay. Everyone is here supporting me regardless. I just walked directly through that ice cream boy. Hmm. I don't imagine anything has changed over here. Walk toward the wilderness again. Oh, hi. People bathing over there. What are these two people about? With the summer bungalows packed to the gills, visitor visitors are spilling out onto the dunes where the sun and air is, frankly, at its best. I remember back when a lot of those houses on the bay were built. I think it was in 1990 when I was six years old. Hmm. They usually get a big reaction from adults. Good day to you. God. Okay. And nothing new going on over here. I imagine it'll be the same text. Should I? Yeah. Okay. Well. Where to that we haven't been? Where to that we have not been? I 
haven't gone down here from the helipad yet in summer. Oh my god, there are some hot, hunky beach men hanging out at the sign. A group of men are drinking and posing by the Perfect Tides Property Owners Association sign. This isn't an uncommon sight. The sign has achieved an, an infamous status over the years as a reminder of local resistance to the island's changing demographic. Now that the population is mostly gay, the implicit message is hard to take seriously. Still, your own feeling about the sign and its touristic appeal has changed. It's not just a mundane joke among locals. People travel from far and wide just to laugh at the face of the sign, to witness the depleted power of its cruelty. It's occurred to you lately that you'd, just, you'd go just about anywhere to do the same thing. If such a place exists in space and time, a place where the sum of your being is welcome, correct, then surely you must spend your life looking for it. Interesting. You've been instructed for many years not to talk to adult tourists, especially ones who are clearly drunk, and though your fear of abduction has diminished in recent years, a fear of talking to people who are clearly having fun without you has sprouted in its place. <laughs> Any different dialogue here? No. It is simply one truth about all four gay men hanging out here at the sign. Hmm. Where to what do, then? I've talked with everyone that I can think of. I haven't done item stuff yet. Okay, well. I can look at my notebook again, so that's good. But I can't can't seem to find any combinations with the things that I already have. Hmm. I mean, you know, uh, worst case scenario, that whole photo developing guide in the notebook could just be useless to us forever and the point is I'm supposed to give it to Mikey. It'd be silly, but it's worth a try, I think. I accidentally right-clicked and got rid of that cursor. No? I don't know. I don't know why I would. Can't think of a single reason. What's the value of any of this stuff that I have? I don't think I'm gonna be giving that beer to anyone. That seems very suspect. As such, I can't see anything immediately to do with myself. I don't know any of these people. They don't know me. And I don't really want to know them anyway. I bet Lily's off somewhere having some real fun. Without me, because she has other friends. Well, maybe it's time to just start looking at everything again. So I felt like I was too stumped for where I was at, uh, so I rewatched the end of the last part that I recorded, and of course uh, Mara expressly asked, hey, can I use your internet? <laughs> no, just straight up neglected to try doing this. Crickly, you navigate Simon's decrepit laptop to his last installation of AOL. It's about two full versions old, but it'll do the trick. You enter your login information. Staggle is online. Hey, you. PT! Oh, how nice it is to drop the pretense that you're online for any reason but to talk to each other. Finally, you can be yourself. 
Sorry I haven't logged in for a while. I'm using my neighbor's computer because mine's still broken. Okay, so you haven't told Saggle the whole truth. You're feeling kind of paranoid about ratting on Timothy after the last blow up. Besides, you'd rather spend your precious few minutes with Staggle talking about other things. That sucks. I've really missed you. I'm glad you're here now. Me too. I wish... We were swimming in my pool. I wish too. Is it hot where you are? Yes. The wind by the beach kind of cools everything off. Sounds amazing. It is, sort of. But there's nothing to hide behind either. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this animation's cute. Aw, PT. Why would someone like you need to hide? Oh, plenty of reasons. I'm shy about my body. I'm sure you don't need to be. Well, thank you. But I am. A lot of people can be really mean. I know. Plus, nobody here likes the same things as me. So I kind of hide that, too. Maybe they do like the same things, and you just don't know it. Anytime I try to talk about those things, when I start to name them out loud, they just sound so stupid. I start to hate them. Sometimes it's better to type it out. Whisper it where no one can hear, nobody can hear. I get that. I do. But your life is so cool, living by the sea. That's so rare, you know? I guess so. I never think about it. It's just normal for me. Well, trust me, anyone would love to be where you are. It would be better if you were here. I know. I know. I think about that a lot. Me too. On the 4th of July, they light up the whole sky with fireworks. The beach is filled with people. That sounds wonderful. It's the time of year I feel the loneliest. No one to see it with. No one like you. Another minor hitch as it tries to load something, huh? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Uh... God. I'm sorry, but I can't talk long. Oh. Okay. I was thinking. Yeah? Maybe I could write you a letter? If you give me your address? A long pause. Have you possibly overstepped some boundary? Sure. I'd love to get a letter from you. That would be so cute. Moments later, his address appears before you. A few things suddenly occur to you. He lives in the United States, in Pennsylvania. This is news to you. You'd never asked. He neglects to include his real name, which, again, for the first time, you're realizing you've never asked about. Is this the right time to ask? You're not sure. Asking for his name would mean revealing your own. Got it. Let me write this down. You quickly jot down Staggle's address on a piece of paper, which you then pocket. I'll write you this week, and hopefully I'll be back online soon. I can't wait. Hugs in asterisks. The, uh, the formatting of making an action online in text. I wanted to say that for like like a, a, a silly kind of emphasis on it, but it came out very straightforward. <laughs> so like, I hope nobody was thinking like, uh, yeah, I know what you use asterisks for, crap. And Mara returns the hug. You log off. Ooh, big blushy. Okay. Really cool. Now, we have an address. Let's look at that. It's a piece of paper with Staggle's address hastily jotted down on it. 
So, now the question is, where do we need to go with this? That uh, probably still the po still just the post office. Let's go to the post office. Same dialogue as before. So let's see what happens if we try to show this to her. No? Okay. So uh, no luck there. Take it home, maybe? I'm going to try taking it home. Either that or could it be as straightforward as, yeah, writing in the notebook now that we have his address. You stare into the sea of notebook white. You'd like to write a letter to Staggle, but you don't know where to begin. Perhaps you need some inspiration, a moment of acceleration to get those words flowing. Hmm. Inspiration, moment of acceleration. Inspiration, a moment of acceleration? What does that mean? What on earth is going to inspire us? Can it be? It's summertime, but Timothy isn't on the console or watching TV. The game controller sits unused and beckoning on the floor. Okay, what are we going to play? You decide to use this time to power through the pivotal cutscene of Pure Fantasia 6, a game you have never finished. You've already been spoiled to what happens, and you've been avoiding it because you know it will upset you. But maybe it's time to clear out the cache of last year's pursuits. This year, you're going to get hot, make friends, and take full control of your life. Oh yeah, at age almost 16. Memories of the story flood back as you open your save file. These characters, this world, all that is at stake are suddenly of great concern to you again. <laughs> awesome. This is great. Dude. Who did Meredith work with for that? Athenia. Practitioner of magic, daughter of the ancients. She is the last of her kind. Oh my god. Just the most transparent FF7 joke. Including the description of this character. You knew it was coming, and yet, you weren't prepared. Is there really no way to save her? Is this the end of her story? No one ever understood her. Even as a child, they knew she was strange. Yet her talents were undeniable. It's just so tragic. She died before ever reaching her full potential. She died before she could experience love. Oh no. What are you doing? I was just walking through. You were hovering over me. You did it on purpose. Mara, if you can't play those games without getting mad. I was fine until he showed up. I wish I knew where your anger comes from. What are you so mad about? Your existence! That's funny because I was here first. Can't you please keep the peace? He stands there and judges me. He tries to embarrass me, don't you see it? He's taking an interest in your life. He says he's worried about you. Worried? Worried? He's torturing me. I wouldn't even leave my room if he hadn't turned off my internet. Well, maybe you should leave your room. You're on the computer so much you never see other people. 
There are people on the internet, Mom. You don't know anything about those people. I know a lot about them. And they know me a hell of a lot better than anyone around here does. I don't think you mean that. You have no idea 